Right, it's take two on this 49 tooth gear. As you can see where I didn't tighten the chuck up, it slowly twisted in the chuck and I lost material there all the way around. So I'll just machine this up. I'll just get it ready to put back onto the dividing head. Right, that's that face cleaned up. I've just zeroed the digital readout. Right, from that face to that face has got to be one sixteenth of an inch. So I've zeroed it out. Then I'll bring that back to 062. We'll just have a look. Yeah, that's fine. So now I've got to face that down to the right height, which will be a sixteenth higher than that. So I've machined that and that is the right height from there to there. What I'll do now is I'll bore out to three quarters of an inch so it'll fit on the arbor. Right, I'm just going to go down through the drills, up through the drills. just before the reamer oh there we are right that's this side machined I wasn't going to bother with this recess, but I might just clean it up now. That'll make this corner nice and round, and also this corner nice and round. Because if you noticed, it was just moving it back. But this is all, it'll all be centre on the shaft. Right, this side's all machined up nicely. I'll just flick it over in a chuck take that down to the right size and then face off the other side of this to the right width right so that's this side faced off as well and this side to the right overall width I'll just clean up in here a little bit 
Right, that's this side machined up. Now I can put it on the arbor and do the overall diameter. So I got that mounted on the arbor now. So I'm going to turn down the overall size. Ready to put on the dividing head. That's the last cut. That's down to the right diameter. Right, so I'm just going to cut the teeth on this blank again. Everything I have checked three times, it's all done up tight. And I'm going to cut to halfway through at 100 fav and then final distance, final depth. Nice and steady, let the cutter do the work. Right, that's the first one done. Right, I'll just cut the rest. You don't need to see that. That's a quarter of the way around. So far, so good. Halfway there. Right, we're three quarters of the way around. Right, I'm just about to rotate to do the last tooth. And that looks spot on. I didn't have any problems this time. That's lovely. Now I'll set the cutter to the full depth of 216 fav and cut more to the right depth. That's great. Right, I've just cut the last tooth. Proper job. Let's take it off of there and have a look at it. Well, I'm very pleased how that's turned out. Really good. I mean, if I get the other one, put it side by side, so you can see the difference in sizes of the teeth. Well, these are all same width across the top look but as you go through there there where this one moved in the chuck they're all different so that can go in the scrap bin now but well, that's great so i've just put that back on the shaft if we have a look with all these teeth there brilliant i'm happy how that's turned out and then this one there meshes lovely with the uh, final drive look. That's really nice. Now I can get on and make the actual shaft. Right, I've started making the third shaft. I faced the end off. I've drilled the end. I'm going to tap that. So I'll just get a tap in there. 
Right, I've tapped the hole there. Now I'm going to put this in the milling machine and mill a keyway there because both uh, gears have got to have a key cut in it. Right, so I'm just going to mill the keyway in here. Right, last cut. That's down to the depth. Right, I've got some key steel here, that should fit in there. Lovely. Right, so what I'll do now, I'll mark this to length, cut it off and face the end off and drill and tap the other end. Right, this is the other end. You see that line there? That's the exact distance I need, but I'm going to leave it a little bit longer on there by about a thou. So when you tighten up the bolts each end, it won't be clamping it tight because that's got a swivel. So I'll get on and face that off, drill it and tap it. Right, so that's the third shaft made. I've got that up tight there. That's where the other bolt would go there. I might just face that off a little bit more. So it's less play there. I'll do that later. The next thing I've got to do is make a guide to take the key cutter in these gears so I can cut the keys in them. Right. Right, what I'm going to do now is make a guide for this brooch to cut the keyway in each gear. That's the guide for a one inch hole. So I've got to make a guide like this to fit in the three quarter hole on there. That's the next job. Right, so the first thing I'm going to face this bottom off, turn down this to fit into this hole here, three quarters of an inch. Then I'll chop it off, put it in the milling machine and cut the slot which will take the brooch. So let's face that off first. faced off. Next thing is to turn it down to the right diameter. Right, so I'm going to cut the uh, slot in here I've got to be 10.85 mil from the top deep but I've got to also slot that top bit so I'll make a start first on there
But this is the last cut. I'll just chop this off, put it back in the lathe and face off the back side. Right, so here's we got the big gear. There's the guide. And we'll just push this one through first. Right, that's the first cut. So for the second cut, I've got to put this little spacer behind. That's one keyway cut there, look. Now I've got to do the other gear. So there's the second key cut there. Lovely. Now I can mount them on the shaft. Right, you can see I've got a key in there. I'll just get the gear on. That's lovely. See how that turns the shaft? And I'll just get the other gear on. There. Now what I've got to do is put a washer on there with a bolt in that end. And the same on the other side. Right, I've got a screw in there, look. And screw down the other side. So there we are. That's the third shaft done. Later on, there'll be a little brass cover to cover this end up. And here, when the wheel's together, covering this will be a guard which covers this gear and these. Lovely. Let's get the other wheel on. So I got both back wheels back on as I push the uh, wheels around look it turns the gear so that's great. Please subscribe to my channel and join me as I build a 2 inch scale Fowler Showman's traction engine.